What's up guys? Jared here, Rotex Rednecks. Uh, it's been a while, long time no see. So I was out of town for two months. After New Year's I blew the motor up on the Renegade, spun a rod bearing, had to send it down to Mr. RPM. Got it back and then had to leave out of town again for work and got it back together. Got all the extra goodies I got for her. I got the Good Time Recreation uh, rad relocate on the front. Went ahead and did the uh, rear rack by Jesse Asher. He's good time. Got to get a hold of him if you want that rack. I'll show it here in a little bit. Uh, then I threw the, some of you guys saw the videos before. I had the Crush Locks already from Reds Off-Road. They do pretty good. I'm going to change it up here a little bit. You guys will see here soon. But uh, yeah, just want to get back to you guys. Let you know that uh, me, Chris, the boys, we aren't all dead. We just, uh, we've been busy. Ain't posting much. If you follow me on TikTok, I post on there every once in a while. But yeah, hopefully we get a lot more content coming out here soon. Took the winter off, kind of. We rode some, but uh, blowing the motor really threw a wrench in my plans. I know those guys rode. I don't know. We got some more video of their content from when they were riding. We'll put that out there. And then see what happens with that. Uh, so tonight we're going to throw on a... Uh, the two inch lift and arms from uh, CFAB. Same as on Ryan's Renegade. And uh, do a quick little video, show you guys what's up with that. Anybody that's interested, I'll just, uh, I can throw those that up as a separate video. <clears throat> Be a little bit more detailed or we'll do a quick time lapse of here. Pull the old ones off. Uh, hopefully we can stuff 34s under this thing here soon. That's the plan with the lift. And then uh, we gotta figure out the front arms after that. Other than that, I threw the Lucky 7 boards on it with the Rotax Rednecks engraved into it. I know some of you saw already the rag kit. It turned out really good. Good time recreation up in Canada. Hooked it up. Check out that. Turned out really good. Thing's beefy too. It's all aluminum. Save on the weight a little bit. I haven't ran into anything yet. I know Ryan likes to run into people push them out of holes. We'll see what happens with that. <laughs> and then uh, there's the... Uh, Engraved footwells from Lucky 7. Hooked me up there. New belt box cover from Mr. RPM because when you guys saw our one video, I shot the secondary out the case. That's another thing. She got QSC's primary and STM secondary now. She's ready to rock. Empire sound great. They have no cores in them. So she's a little loud, but uh, don't, don't hear when I'm up in front. Ask Chris, he'll tell you how loud they are. <laughs> So uh, yeah, let's jump into it, do a quick time lapse, throw these arms on. Time-lapse, that's how you get the rear arms off pretty quick. If anybody doesn't know anything how to do it, leave a comment. I'll show you guys more detailed on removing the rear arms. So now, man, it's hot out here. <laughs> so now all we got to do is get the upper bearings and dust seals and spacers put into the new arms. I already pressed in the wheel bearings. Here's the new CFAB arm. So we'll get these fitted up get the upper bearings installed and then just want to make sure you never forget there's a retaining ring on these right here that hold the wheel bearing in I'll, I'm gonna reuse the old ones off of the old arms shouldn't be too bad but uh, CFAB did a really good job these are real sturdy arms that uh, we'll see how they perform your sway bar I'm gonna reuse the bushing on the stock one and then the z hopefully that zerk fitting threads right in off the old one uh, if not, no sway bar, dog. Crazy wheelies. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, that's it. Comment if you guys want a detailed uh, arm removal or install. If anything, I can pull them back off. I'm just going to do another time lapse of the install because it's pretty easy. It's a whole whopping one, two, three, four, five. Five bolts and nuts. Nothing crazy. But yeah, get it done. I'm going uh, to do a quick little time lapse installing the 
bushings on the uppers. I'm just gonna beat them in with a socket that fits in the sleeve, lube them up. Bearings have been in the freezer for like a week. We'll get those all lubed up and then uh, go from there. Be right back. So fun fact, the 27 millimeter that pulls off your uh, hub, mounts right to the axle nut, uh, fits right in the sleeve. Pressing these bad boys, so we're gonna beat the shit out of this 27 millimeter and get these bearings to go in. So then, shoot, dang! Be back with the time lapse. clips are in now we just gotta put her all together and see how she rides hopefully uh, we notice a little bit more stance and then uh, we'll get the front arms whenever I decide to spend another two grand on random crap for this thing all right let's do a time-lapse installing these bad boys <laughs> Pretty good. There she is all wrapped up. No more rear brake pads. That's a future me problem. Stance is pretty good. Definitely a bigger gap back here. If you look at the beginning of the video when I was on the side of the four wheeler, you can notice it. It's definitely a lot bigger. Kicked it out a little bit too, it looks like. Definitely gonna get a little bit more muddier. <laughs> That's it. If you guys got any questions, just drop a comment 